think I can really see a big influence from a previous Dean AD winner, which is, you know, Dumb Ways to Die. I mean, it's a fantastic piece of work and it's very influential. But for me personally, I'd like to see more, you know, kind of unique artwork within websites being used or within interactive stuff. A lot of it is very vector style graphic illustration, which looks very good on screen. But I think, I think there's room for something a bit more innovative there. It might just be that it's easy to use and also, you know, it's just fashion too, isn't it? It's like, it's what is right, it's the language that's right right now and so people, people use it. But yeah, the idea of trying to get something that goes viral is such a kind of magnet for people to try and get that kind of magic. But it's not that easy. It's like, it's like we know, no, comedy is not easy. <laughs> or like writing a great pop song is not easy and everyone's trying to get something that has a huge hit. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it, it was really, really funny, but there's a lot of quite, just quirk, quirky stuff that you kind of maybe raises a smile. Well, the stuff that I've seen that have been, some great posters actually that have been entered this year. Really good poster art and I don't remember seeing too much of that before, especially on, on, this, on that kind of quite big scale. It seems more international, for sure, I think it seems like people are entering from all over the world. I think sometimes it's more difficult than others, but I think we're getting used to looking at work from all around the world. I think in the past you might have said, oh, how do, you, how do I judge a Korean piece of artwork? But actually, I think, I think we're looking at work on the internet all the time from all around the world. And it's whatever it grabs you, understandably, we might miss some of the nuances. And... But generally, just felt, I just felt that it was a richer content that I was looking at compared to when I've judged before. There was it always felt, you know, like there wasn't quite enough to look at. And now I feel like, oh, no, there is a lot to look at. I kind of put on my teacher head, like when I used to be, a, I used to teach quite a lot. And I try not to put my personal opinion in a sense, or, or personal preferences. There's quite often work that's not really not my cup of tea, but I can really see, the, say, the technical ability in there, and I can really see that it's absolutely hit the mark for what it was asked to do. And I try to put that kind of that kind of head on when I'm looking at work. It's be as objective as possible, be as open as possible. I try to be as generous as possible because there is a tendency to not be impressed by very much, and that's just. The nature of we, especially in London, I think we're very used to seeing a very high quality of work all the time. Very hard to impress us, very, we're quite cynical, you know, as everything's a bit rubbish before it's good. And so I, I try to not think like that when I'm judging. I try to be much more open. There's some good guidelines from DNAD, you know, is it innovative? Is it, is it, is it doing what it's asked to do? Is, is it, you know, does it bring a smile to your face? All those things, is it doing what it's, is it fulfilling its, its job in a way? And is it doing it in, in a, a unique, innovative way? Some, some work, you know, it's very immediate, isn't it? You don't need to delve too, too far. What I'm trying to do is do that kind of second take on some of the work. Like, my first impression is like, no, 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 what's, you know, what's this? And I think, I better just look again. Maybe I'm not getting it.